Welcome back to Mike Bass Outdoors. Going right back at it. Going right back into this tournament. This is still the continuation of day one. And man, we're looking for some key upgrades. I've got a limit. And now it's time to go to work. Let's get it. Small keeper fish, and that's cool because we're getting bites, but he didn't help us. Right here, I'm still focusing on these bluff end banks and trying to make these big bass that I see bite on the active target. And this was a cool scenario right here. I got hung up. And get my bait free. Start to reel it back. And this is why you can never give up. And there we go. We hooked up. Oh, good small mouth. Beautiful small mouth. <laughs> small mouth. Beautiful fish. All right, he's a keeper. He's going to call. One little stretch, man. Yeah. You know, right there, I was telling myself, look, we've got five fish that are pretty decent and all you can ever want to do is just start practicing from that point in time with the two-day tournament so now i kind of feel like oh okay let's go upgrade start throwing a bigger swim bait <laughs> and now we're upgrading a little bit Tell nice spot of bass right there that. actually a really nice That's one better than any of the ones that i had Big. in there it's fat. oh this is about to become an ordeal today y'all so that cold. You gotta practice. Try and find new oh. water. Oh. Got some fatties in there. Been running a lot of these little cuts as the day went on, and I was starting to look for largemouth. And what I realized is, okay, there's a little bit of wood. I started trying to run these windier cuts. I'm throwing a crankbait. I had caught some shorts. Caught a keeper smallmouth that didn't make the uh, film, but he helped call. And at any time I got those targets, I'm like, all right, let me pick up the big swim bait. Start trying to look for that upper echelon fish that I need, you know. And that's all you can ever do. Like this tournament flew by. You know, there's a lot of times when you just gotta just fly by the seat of your pants and try to make something happen. Oh my God. A magical Dude. moment happens. Oh my God. Dude, what an awesome fish catch. <laughs> yes. Those are the type of bites I know I need. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm about to puke. That's one of the ones I need, bro. What a great big old bass. That's a giant. At this point in time of the day, a lot of time has went by. I've done a lot of swim baiting and glide baiting and looking for that big bass and just couldn't find it so I'm back to throwing a crankbait cover in water and you know there are certain times in your tournament that you just know key moments hit you it happens to everybody I don't whine I don't complain uh, the difference between doing very well and not so well and it happens to all of us, is execution. You know, right here, I'm throwing this crankbait. It's got good hooks on it. It's got big hooks on it. The rod is right, the line's right. I even lean into that fish right, and sometimes, dude. Oh, no, that was a joke. 
You know, that fish right there probably would have put me into the Dang. top 10. It looked like a three and a half to four pound caliber Dang. fish. Dang. And you add that on top of what I've got already, and I'm looking at being in oh, the top 10. Man, what the hell? And that's all you can ever ask for is to put yourself in contention, man. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I shook it off. I'm upset, but now it's weigh-in time. That's a good one right up in there. Almost 447. We got four more to go too. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Let's do this. Here we go, dancing around. Locking in at 1237. 1237. Let's get a picture of this. Hey, I know I'm not sitting too far out of this, you know? And uh, we still got a chance to make a good comeback. Hey, if this is your kind of thing, please like and subscribe to the channel. We sure appreciate you. God bless.